Hey guys, I'm Stephanie with Overlay Magic, and today I'm going to show you how to seamlessly blend these fabric overlays into your images. So if you don't already have the overlay set, there will be a link in the description where you can go find them if you would like to follow along. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take this image and turn it into this. So first up, we're going to go ahead and grab our fabric overlays. I've selected three for this image, and they are in the sheer red folder. I think I've chose number 8, 37, and 42. I'm just going to highlight all three and then drag them right into the image, right on top of my image here. And then click the check mark up here for each one. And then you don't have to do this, but I am going to right click on each layer and uh, select Rasterize Layer from the menu. And that just makes it a little easier for me to work with. Okay, and then I'm going to group them all. So select uh, all three layers at once and then click this folder icon. Create a group. Okay, so now I'm just going to click these eye icons right next to the layer to hide the ones that I don't want to see and just keep the one on that I'm working with and then click the transform tool up here and I think I'm actually going to flip this horizontally and then rotate it a little bit maybe make it a little smaller you know just position it where I think it looks good probably right about there and then click enter Yep. and then I'm going to go up here to the group folder and then come down here to the bottom and click on this adjustment layer icon. It's a little circle. And then once you click on that, I'm going to select Hue Saturation from the list. Oh, it looks like it put it in my folder. So just go up here and drag it on top. And then we want to clip it to the folder so it affects everything within the folder. So just click this little box down here at the bottom. And you'll see a little arrow at the top. And that means it's clipped to the layer below it. So now you can just drag the slider to whatever color matches your dress in your image and we're working with blue so we'll come all the way down here to the blue and then uh, for the saturation and the lightness you can adjust those sliders as needed I think for this image it's actually pretty spot on so I think I'm just going to leave it right in the middle and then minimize that okay so now you'll notice that there is some white coming through the uh, shears were shot on white to make it really easy for you to blend and so to fix that, we'll do a couple of things. First, we'll come down to the layer and then just double click on a blank space past the name on the layer. And then that will open up your blending options. If you come down here in this uh, first slider or the top, the white one, we're going to hold down Alt and click the left side of it and drag it over and it'll break the slider into two pieces. And then you can drag this down to whatever looks good for you. If you drag it all the way down, it'll entirely disappear where it's white. Um, but I prefer some place in the middle, usually looks good for me. Um, and you can always come back in and adjust this later too. So when you're ready, click OK. And then if you come up here to the top layer, we're going to add another adjustment layer. So come down here to the adjustment layers, click on this, and then we're going to select solid color from the very top. And then you can just click OK with, with whatever color pops up for you. And now we're going to clip it to the layers below. So if you hold down Alt and select the line right between this layer and the, and the one right below it, it'll clip it. You'll see the little box with the arrow come up. And now that it's clipped, you can double click on that color for the solid fill and then pick something that matches your dress. So you can just drag this around um, until you, you know, you like the color that you see. And then click OK. And then I also like to lower the opacity a little bit, so I think I'm going to bring this down to about 70 375, somewhere around there looks good. Alright, so let's add another adjustment layer. Come down here and select levels from the list. We're going to clip it as well, so click this little box down here. And then you can adjust the levels just for the fabrics. So here in the mid-tones is the middle slider. slider. Um, your highlights are up here at the top, on the right and your shadows are down here on the left. So just kind of play with these until they look right for your image and for the fabric that you're trying to match. Um, I think it looks pretty good the way it is, so I'm not going to adjust these too much. Maybe just bring up the midtones a little bit and minimize that. And now I'll add a layer mask to my fabric. So just click on the, the layer and then the layer 
powder mask icon down at the bottom. I'll grab a nice soft black brush and just paint off where we don't want to see the fabric. Now that I'm looking at it, it does look a little bit dark to me. It needs to be lightened a little bit. So we'll go back up here to our levels and double click on this and that'll open it back up. And I think I'm going to bring in the highlights a little bit. That'll help. So up here on the right, we'll just bring this in. There we go. That looks like it's matching up pretty well. And that's the nice thing about these adjustment layers is that you can come back and adjust them anytime. So as you um, work on your image, if something doesn't look right, just go back up and, and fix it. And now we'll just go ahead and copy this layer style the blend mode that we selected on the fabric to the other layers. So um, we'll just right click on the layer, select copy layer styles, and then paste it to our other pieces of fabric. So that way they're all transparent or translucent as well. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, turn on these other layers and position them where we want them to be. So I'm just going to do this really fast. Speed this up <laughs> so that you don't have to watch the whole editing process. Um, but that's the great thing about having all of your adjustments outside of the group. It applies to everything inside of it. So if you wanted to add some more fabric to this, you could. If you wanted to resize or reshape, you know, use your liquify tool and make it, you know, um, swirl around or make heart shapes or something with the fabric. You can do all of that, and your adjustments will stay, um, will still apply to anything that you put in the group. So you can really have fun with it now that your adjustments are set up. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So pretty easy. Now there are um, other fabrics in your overlay kit. There is a sheer white option in there as well. And so when you bring that in, you don't have to do quite as much work on the sheer white. Um, it, was, it was photographed on a black background. So if you just change the layer blend mode to screen, it'll just erase all of the black in the image and make it see through there. So those are really fun to work with. And then with the opaque red, which I believe is listed as satin red in your pack, you don't have to do any blend mode to it. You just bring it in and then you can add a hue saturation adjustment layer and change the color. So those are two are, are really simple to work with. However, if you are having any uh, issues with them at all, please just let me know. Send me a message. Um, or shoot me an email, you know, and just tell me what's going on, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So give me some feedback, guys. Let me know if you are loving these overlays as much as I do, and I'd love to know what you're creating with them. So send me a picture, shoot me a picture, and um, let me see what beautiful images you're creating. I'd love to see, you know, how they work for you. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys take care. Bye.